Hi everyone, this is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. Everyone is talking about R1 and everyone wants to run it. We already have covered R1 in various videos in the last couple of weeks. I have shown you how you can get it installed in full, how you can run the distilled models and so on and so forth. Unsloth, which I already have covered on the channel, one of the best ways of fine tuning and training the model, has recently released a quantized version of this R1 model, the full model, which is 671 peri parameter uh, model, billion parameter model. And that quant has really enabled us to run it on our lower VRAM GPUs. Still, it is not that low, I would say. You need to have a really good amount of VRAM plus RAM in order to run even the smallest version of this model. And I will show you in real time as how that looks like. When we say quantization, quantization in AI models refers to converting the model's parameters such as weights and biases from full floating point numbers to integers with lower bit widths, for example, from 32 bit floating point to 8 bit or 4 bit or even less. So, what Unsloth has done, they have released this in 1.58 bit quantized form and the model size has been just compressed to 131 GB. I will be running it through llama.cpp which is a uh, very lightweight way of installing it and we will be installing it all locally. So before I move forward let me give a huge shout out to Mast Compute who are sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. This is the VM I am going to use and this is a GPU card NVIDIA H100 with 80 GB of VRAM courtesy Mast Compute. If you are also looking to rent a GPU on very affordable prices, I will drop the link to their website in video's description. Plus, I am also going to give you a 50% discount coupon which you can use readily. So first up, let's download the model from Hugging Face and in order to download it, we need to install this Hugging Face Hub Transfer Library. And then we can download the model. Let me launch my Python interpreter. And then I'm just going to use uh, Hugging Face library in order to download it. I'm just importing this snapshot download and then I am downloading this quantized version of DeepSeek R1 from Unsloth and we are just going with 1.58 quantized very very 1S model. I know it's very very low. Performance won't be as good as it should be but still let's check it out. So it is downloading the model. You can see that it is close to 131 gig of VRAM or maybe it's a bit higher. So it is going to take around 20 to 30 minutes. So let's wait. And the models have been downloaded. It took around 23 minutes. Okay, and now we can exit from here. And if I do ls-ltr, you should see that we have this deep seek folder. And if you ls into it, you will see that we have this quant and this quant should have all the gguf files which are three files make sure that you save this path because this is what we will be using in our llama.cpp which i am going to show you now as we need to install it so uh, let me quickly just save this path here and now let me download llama.cpp for that, just go to the GitHub repo of llama.cpp and by the way, if you want to learn about R1, you can search on my channel for llama.cpp. Just search with llama.cpp. I have done heaps of videos around uh, llama.cpp and its variants. So go to llama.cpp's GitHub repo, go to release page and then according to your operating system, download it as you can see that I am using Ubuntu. So I'm just going to use it like this. Save link as and then it is going to download it on my local system. I'm just going to download in my home directory for now. So I'll just uh, save it and then we can move it to any other directory. And it's not that high so you see that it has already been downloaded. So I'm just going to go to my terminal here. Maybe I'll just call it LCP and then I'll move that let me quickly show you how it looks like. So there's a zip file. So I'll say llama lcp. Let's go to lcp. Let me clear it. And then we can 
So this is a zip file, right? So we can unzip it. And I'm just going to use the usual unzip. If you have any other 7-zip or any other tool installed, you can use that. And it has unzipped everything here. So if I do ls-ltr, you will see that we have this build folder. And then in the build folder, we have the bin. And in bin, we have a lot of stuff related to llama.cpp. Now I could use this in um, CLI, but I want to use it with GUI. So I'm going to install Open Web UI, which is one of the easiest tools to uh, put a graphical user interface on top of model, especially llama.cpp based. So I have just created this virtual environment with Conda. And then I'm going to install some of the prerequisites like Torch, Transformers and few other things that will take a minute or so while that happens let me quickly introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are agentbot agentbot very effortlessly uh, enables you to deploy a personalized knowledge bot across platforms like discord slack and others it is ideal for open source tech communities and startups that provide user support and i will drop the link to their website in videos description so please do check them out Okay, let's go back to check what is happening. Almost there. And now let me install Open Web UI, which should be very quick, as most of the stuff, stuff has already been installed by us. And everything is installed. Now let me start this Open Web UI here. And then it is going to download a couple of uh, inherent models and start the Open Web UI on our local system on i think localhost at port 8080 so i will just let it run and then you can see that it is started so i will just keep this window and terminal running i will open another window and i'm just going to deactivate this existing conda environment and now here i am going to start my llama.cpp and for that first i'm just quickly Maybe I'll also activate that environment here. Doesn't matter, but just for the sake of completion. And then let's go to the directory where we have that llama.cpp. And then I'm just going to paste it here. Okay, so we are in the bin directory. And here we can start the llama cpp server by simply running this command where I'm giving the model the first gguf shard this DeepSeq model which we downloaded earlier I'm just specifying this port 10,000 and then you can just give it any free port context size is 1024 if you have larger VRAM you can go with higher and then I'm just offloading 40 layers of the model to the GPU you can reduce it if you have lower VRAM but I will try with the 40 so let me run it so what is going to happen this is going to serve this model locally with llama.cpp and then we will connect it with our open web UI so it is loading the model as you can see and now it is listening at port this and this is the model which it is loading at the moment. So now let me go to my browser and access the local host at port 8080 to access that open web UI which we have just installed. Click on get started here and then let me put in my name and my email. And then it is going to load it for us. So first time it takes a bit of a time. And just say okay let's go and this is our open web ui running now now before i do anything in open web ui make sure to go to your terminal and see that server is running and up and it is listing at localhost at port 10,000. so it means that everything looks good at this point in time as far as llama.cpp is concerned then you can simply click here on uh, admin panel on the top right so these are the user let me quickly click on so not here let me go back i think i just clicked wrongly again here and then admin panel and then in the general settings i have just set the theme to dark it is much more easier on eyes and then <clears throat> sorry in admin settings i just clicked on admin settings go to connections and then here we can define a new connection 
or we could use the existing one so i'm just going to go with this uh, open ai one and i'll just say here and if you click on this i icon it gives you the api key for api key just say none and on the bottom right you can click on save here and after saving when you exit you can see that at the top our uh, r1 is selected and we can simply start chatting with it in this uh, text box now again it will be very very slow because i'm using a tgp of vram it's a very very lower quant and you can see that as is the spirit of this uh, model where i have asked what is happiness the deep sea car one is thinking and you can see how slow that is it is consuming the whole atgp at the moment i can't even properly move my mouse and i believe it is also offloading a lot of stuff to memory so i'll just keep my mouse here and show you a bit of it because we already have tested this model on various benchmarks uh, so if you're interested you can go to my channel and check it out so this will be this excruciatingly slow even on atgp of uh, vram and i believe i have around 124 or something like that ram so it's a very heavy system from mass compute and you can also rent it on a fraction of price as i mentioned earlier in the video so looks good so that's how you can install it locally the actual r1 model which is 671 billion parameter model on your local system with a ggui llama.cpp Thanks to Unslot, so really great work. I also have interviewed the founder of this Unslot, Daniel Han. You can search him on the channel. Pretty good interview. Did a long, long time back when even Unslot was not that popular. So check it out. I'm sure you'll like it. Again, if you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you are already subscribed, please share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thank you for watching.